Well, it has to be understood that the uranium mining industry, like every other industry, is in business to make money. They want to get a, a, a commodity out of the ground, they want to market it and sell it. And health, human health, environmental impacts, these are not their main concern. They don't want to harm the environment, they don't want to harm humans, but they do want to make their money. And if something is very expensive, they'd rather not spend the money if they can find something cheaper. The only reason we have better mining practices today is because people outside the mining industry pushed, criticized, commented, and finally there were laws and regulations put in place that the mining companies oftentimes objected to, but now they have to obey them. And we haven't gone far enough in that regard because the mining companies, when they open up a uranium ore body, they're opening a Pandora's box. Uh, not only do you have uranium in the ground, but you have a dozen uranium byproducts, which all of which are more toxic, radiotoxic, than the uranium itself. Some of the most dangerous materials known to science, such as radium, such as radon gas, such as polonium-210, all of which are fearful killers in terms of uh, human health, in terms of the environment as well. If they're allowed to be dispersed into the environment, they're definitely bad news. So, the question is, if the uranium mining company wants to take the uranium away, shouldn't they be required to take the rest of it away? What happens is they move into a community, they take what they want, they leave 85% of the radioactivity behind as waste, and then they say, bye-bye, your problem now. If you want to take a more narrow view and say, well, how can we mine uranium safely? One thing we can insist upon is that if they're going to take away the uranium, they should also take away the thorium-230, which has a 76,000-year half-life, and the radium-226, which has a 1,600-year half-life. If you remove those items from the ore, then the radioactivity of the residues would be reduced from hundreds of thousands of years to just a few centuries. And that would make it much more manageable for the communities that are left cleaning up the mess. So uh, I believe that, that uh, governments should not be licensing new uranium mines to go into production until they develop technologies which are able to extract all of the long-lived radionuclides from the ore. I think that if you take the larger view, you could say we just shouldn't be allowing uranium mining at all.